What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos. Today I'm going to be discussing one of my biggest pet peeves in Fedora probably for the last 10 plus releases and that is font rendering. When you can directly compare Fedora to a distribution like Ubuntu, Ubuntu blows it out of the water in terms of font rendering. Uh, it's quite bad in my opinion uh, right out of the box. I have a, a large high def monitor and when you're reading text especially with a white background font rendering is pretty terrible. Um, so I'm going to show you a workaround in my opinion um, to to fix this and remedy this. So first things first um, I would suggest installing a quality font. Uh, you want a, a really nice font to begin with that's just going to obviously improve um, your results. So Fedora comes with Cantorel, so you could use that, which is what I'm using currently. Uh, or you can install something like Droid Sans from Google or even the Ubuntu font directly from Ubuntu. Uh, this particular method is going to essentially um, mimic the Ubuntu font rendering closely. However, I don't feel like it's 100% spot on, but it's pretty close. So. What I want to have you do, first and foremost, you're going to need to install a font rendering engine, uh, but we're going to need to enable the RPM Fusion repositories to do that. So uh, if you come over here to Google and just type in RPM Fusion, and as you can tell by my screen, font rendering is pretty good. So uh, click on the configuration link, come right down here uh, where you see Fedora 22 and later. All you're going to do is copy and paste this into a terminal. Now I already have this installed so it's going to tell me that um, I don't need to do anything. But if you just uh, type enter then your password. Everything's already done for me. Uh, it's going to present you with an option to install. Um, you're going to hit yes and then you're going to run a sudo uh, DNF update. Supply your password again. Nothing to do, of course, because it's already done for me. Um, if you do a DNF search and then type in um, free type, if you're watching uh, the video in full screen or high definition, uh, hopefully you are, um, you'll be able to see this quite well. You'll see down here this package free type dash free world. It's a free and portable font rendering engine. That's what we want to install. So we are going to install that package by sudo dnf install free type dash free world. Hit enter. I already have that installed, so it tells me that there's nothing to do. However, for you, just select yes and install the package. Um, now what we need to do, and we can do this two different ways. First being, uh, if you have GNOME Tweak Tool installed, um, you can do this through GNOME Tweak Tool. If not, uh, again, if we do a DNF search uh, for GNOME Tweak, you're going to see GNOME Tweak Tool right here. And just install that particular package, which is going to be what you see here. Come over to where it says Fonts. <clears throat> I actually have the wrong main font here. There we go. Um, I selected the Cantorel font. Um, I've also installed Droid Sans. I've just do a Google search for Droid Sans and you can download it. Um, you're going to put the font in the uh, user share fonts directory and then you'll be able to select it here with the tool. Um, but we're going to go with the Cantorel font. And then for hinting, you're going to uh, select slight. And for anti-aliasing, you're going to select RGBA. Um, if you don't have GNOME Tweak Tool installed, you can also do this with G settings. And I've included, and I'll include this in the video description. Um, all you've got to do is copy and paste each of these commands one by one uh, into your terminal. And then just hit enter. And it's going to accomplish the same thing that GNOME Tweak Tool um, just presented you with. I always like to learn the manual way of doing things. Reason being, if GNOME Tweak Tool stops being supported or that package no longer exists, you're going to have no idea how to get this done. 
the manual way, regardless of um, release, is going to enable you to do these tweaks and never have to be deterred by a package no longer being supported or working or any glitches. So um, I like to show you guys how to do both. So that's how to do it the manual way. Next, we want to do uh, we want to create this particular file, the LCD filter. Uh, as far as I know, there's not a G setting for this. So all we've got to do is create this particular file here. It's going to put it in your home directory. Again, you're just going to copy and you're going to paste it in. Now, I already have that file in my home directory. So if I open up home and if I select Control H, which is going to show all the hidden files and folders, um, you're going to see the X resources with the LCD filter. Okay, so that's what that's going to do. Some of these um, settings uh, will need to have a restart to go into effect. Um, and also for your browser, if you come into the settings, come all the way down here to, well, I'm in Google Chrome right now, but uh, go to where you can select your fonts in this particular. Um, browser it's going to be under web content hit customize fonts and I selected the Cantorell uh, the Cantorell font it's just a nice font it's easy to read again any font of your choice it's a high quality font Droid Sans Ubuntu whatever you uh, prefer um, but this is the font that I'm going with as of right now and that way when you're on a web page uh, that's the font that it's going to use because uh, primarily <coughs> excuse me um, when I'm, my font issues are in a web browser, particularly when there's a uh, white background. Um, it just makes things very hard to read. So I find that these particular settings uh, make font rendering um, vastly improved over the default settings that you get uh, with Fedora out of the box. So hopefully this helps. This gives you Ubuntu-like font rendering in Fedora, this particular case 23. Uh, if the video was help, give it a thumbs up or a like, share the video, stay tuned for a uh, review of Fedora 23. I've only had this installed for a few days. I want to give it a fair review, which means I need to put it through its paces a little bit longer. I need to kind of know uh, and get familiar with all the nuances of this particular release over Fedora 22. Um, and so far, it's pretty good. Uh, although, you know, I've always thought Fedora was fairly solid at least the last handful of releases I know it's had its critics it seems as though a lot of people really like Fedora 23 um, I having used the number of uh, actually since Fedora <coughs> excuse me 15 I've used it quite regularly off and on in my rotation of distros and you know I don't feel like it's dramatically different <laughs> Um, from a lot of the other Fedora releases, I think a lot of reviewers are finding that it is. And I think mostly those are the reviewers that probably haven't used it on a very regular basis because, you know, there are some new things here. For example, an updated version of GNOME, we've switched to using DNF as opposed to YUM. Uh, although if you use YUM, there's aliases, so your YUM commands will still work. However, for the most part, um, Fedora is still very much Fedora, um, and I've always been a fan. So... You know, uh, for me, it's kind of business as usual for Fedora outside of some upstream GNOME uh, updates, but it's a solid release, and uh, I think it's, it's working quite well uh, for me. But uh, nonetheless, stay tuned for an update on Fedora 23. Again, hope this video helps you in your experience with Fedora, and until next time, guys, we'll talk to you later.